John Fetterman is the Senate candidate in the state of Pennsylvania. John Fetterman is, for all of this obsession about Senate candidates, this election is going to be decided in Georgia, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, Nevada, and Arizona. Senate. Those five states are battlegrounds. We'll see what happens in New Hampshire. There's the possibility other states end up in play. But those five are definitely going to be close. And I think New Hampshire is likely to be fairly close too. But those five that I just named, Nevada, Arizona, Georgia, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania. The worst candidate in those five states, Democrat or Republican, by far, is John Fetterman. John Fetterman in his 30s and 40s didn't have a job. His parents paid for his entire family to live. He bought his house for a dollar from his sister. He is a rich kid pretending to be working class who has had virtually no jobs his entire life and has never been able to support his family based on his work. He has far left-wing beliefs, the likes of which are reflective in him saying that he agrees with Bernie Sanders on everything. All of that, anti-fracking, believes men should be able to compete against women in sports, doesn't believe in uh, life sentences, thinks murderers should be let out of prison, actually has, I believe, murderers working on his political campaign. All of that, okay, is radical left-wing and would make him what he is the worst nominee in a battleground state this year for the Democrats or the Republicans. Worse than that, though, is unfortunately for him, he had a stroke in May and has not put forward his health reports in an honest way. He's refusing to debate Dr. Oz. And I shared a clip with you yesterday. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's an honor. I live eight minutes away from here. And when I leave tonight, I got three miles away. Dr. Oz in his mansion in New Jersey. You've got a friend and you have an ally. Send me to Washington, D.C. Thank you very much. Thank you. John Fetterman can barely speak. The reason why he's refusing to debate Dr. Oz is not because he's necessarily afraid of the political positions he's adopted, although I think it's part of it. It's because he's not even healthy enough to be in a debate. Now, I hope he gets well. I hope for his family's sake that he recovers. But if you can't stand on a stage in a debate, How are you going to be a United States senator for six years? How are you going to be able to represent the people of Pennsylvania when you can't even speak, when you are recovering from a serious near-death stroke? And how do we know that you're even healthy enough? Do we need to put more weight on your shoulders and give you a very serious job? Or should you just go back home and get back as healthy as you can? See, Democrats don't care. They're trying to hide John Fetterman like they hid Joe Biden. He's the worst candidate in a major party election in the Senate this year, Democrat or Republican by far, based on his policies. But he's not even healthy enough to run. And now he's trying to blame people who are asking questions about his health. What sense does that make? Your health is a big part of whether or not you are going to be able to do a serious job. This is commonplace for all sorts of jobs. The Pittsburgh Steelers just drafted Kenny Pickett in the first round. Now, it looks like Mitch Trubisky is going to be starting for the Steelers week one. But if Kenny Pickett had had major health concerns... Would the Steelers have drafted him in the first round? Of course not. That's not because they're biased against Kenny Pickett or drawing attention to his ill health. It would be because who the Steelers invest in is really important at the quarterback position. And they can't have a guy who's not healthy enough to play the position. That's why the NFL Combine exists. So... If you're going to be more rigorous in the health of somebody who plays football, 
then you are someone who represents the whole state and is funded by taxpayers. How in the world is that being unfair to John Fetterman? Your fitness for the job, both mental and physical, is the essence of the job. If a quarterback had a broken hand and couldn't hold the football appropriately, they wouldn't get hired as the quarterback of the Pittsburgh Steelers or the Philadelphia Eagles for that matter. The essence of the job is your availability to do the job. John Fetterman is a radical left-wing Bernie Sanders clone, but he also isn't healthy enough to do the job. That's a bad combo. That's why Dr. Oz is going to win in Pennsylvania if people behave and vote in a semi-rational fashion. 